friends welcome to uh, my live discussion i have posted a video content regarding mental health uh, traffics on personality disorder yesterday after uh, posted on my youtube channel i had few calls since i posted that video um, most of the call was regarding their mental health a gentleman a um, Bangladeshi gentleman who is living in uh, United States of America in Michigan he called me uh, this morning after watching my video and uh, he's very concerned about it. his daughter he's thinking that his daughter might suffer from some kind of mental illness so uh, he was extremely worried uh, really concerned about his daughter so um, he wanted to know like you know what's going on with her daughter so i was first asked him how old your daughter is he responded that he is 11 years old and going to the sixth grade then um, i asked him why you are so concerned about your daughter is that uh, you find something different that you didn't observe previously he said well uh, she was always a uh, happy easygoing friendly outgoing girl but um, recently about a month um, two to three months ago she becomes different that not usual for her she becomes moody she irritated easily um, like kind of uh, also distracted easily so he wanted to know uh, like what's going on is she suffering from any mental illness then i asked few questions like you know um like her any medical condition any physical um defect or any physical abnormality or any recent change like you know gynecological history then he replied that she does not have any medical condition or any physical abnormality but uh, recently a three months ago she had her first menstruation ladies and gentlemen um teenage year could be very difficult uh, especially for girl so um, it could be difficult for both parents and their teenage their children and if it is girl it's more concerning so after um, after asking a few more questions i was pretty much sure that uh, she started manner just and has some um, premenstrual symptom so uh, this is this is the time for girl and boy had several changes especially for girl when it comes to the menstruation uh, there is a lot of uh, changes especially hormonal physical and uh, in their mind uh, when a girl start having first menstruation that means they started uh, they become the women they are entering to the reproductive ways there could be uh, several changes in physical and in um, mentally so it's uh, very uh, as a uh, as a guardian needs to be pay attention a uh, little bit seriously like you know um, 
in terms of their like overall current status especially any uh, changes in mood so um, after listening to him I did my some homework though this is uh, not my specialty but let's see how much I can share with you let's see how much information I can give to you so that you know uh, you can have some general idea so when the first first menstruation start the women uh, it can be very confusing it can be scary particularly if uh, a girl in their teenage is during the period of manner when they face they encounter some uh, problems like like irregular periods or premenstrual syndrome so common menstrual problems i'll talk about the common menstrual problems what are those most issues tennis comport confront when they start menstruating are completely normal in fact many girls and women have had to deal with one or more of them at one time or another uh, among those problems one is premenstrual symptoms premenstrual um, dysphoric disorder other problems like cramps irregular periods delayed manner but some problems really concerning if um, uh, that person experience amenorrhea that is absence of the periods for long time manor is extremely heavy prolonged periods or dysmenorrhea painful periods endometriosis uh, if any of those experience then it's really concerning and today I'll talk about just uh, premenstrual dysphoric disorder and premenstrual symptoms. What are those? So, there is two terms: premenstrual symptom and premenstrual dysphoric disorder. All the both are have the same physical and emotional symptoms PAMDD causes extreme mood shifts that can uh, disrupt daily life and damage relationship in both PMDS that is premenstrual dysphoric syndrome or premenstrual symptoms usually begin seven to ten days before your prior sisters and continue for the first few days of the period both PMDD or PMS may cause bloating, breast tenderness, fatigue, change in the sleep, eating habits in PMDD. However, uh, at least one of those emotional and behavioral symptoms stands out. What are those? You can feel sadness, hopelessness, anxiety, and tension, extreme moodiness, marked ir irritability, or anger. So, uh, Premenstrual dysphoric syndrome is more um, severe form of PMS. You can say this this cause of PMD premenstrual dysphoric disorder is not clear, but it is assumed that underlying depression or anxiety are common in both PMS and PMDD. So it is possible that hormonal changes that triggers menstrual period worsen the symptoms of the mood disorder. So, if you think that gentleman uh, shared his concern about his daughter, my understanding is uh, his, she's going through or she's experiencing PMS. So, uh, if like any of your family member or your children suffers from PMS, MGD or PMS what you need to do as a physician uh, we can give antidepressant there is a uh, lot of options 
from SSRI uh, that can reduce the symptoms of depression. Also, we can use the birth control pills, taking birth control pills with no fill free interval or with a shortened pill free interval may reduce PMS or PMDD symptoms. Also, um, you can take the nutritional supplements. Consuming about 1200 milligrams of calcium daily may possibly reduce symptoms of PMS or PMDD. Vitamin B6, magnesium, altitophan also may help, but talk with your doctor for advice before taking any supplements. Research that there is a some herbal remedies. Some research suggests that chest berry may possibly reduce irritability, mood swings, breast tenderness, soiling crumbs, food crabbiness associated with the P PMDD, but more research is needed. The US Food and Drug Administration does not regulate uh, herbal supplements, so talk with your doctor before trying one. Also, um, you need to you need to um, change the diet and life. You need to do some changes in diet and lifestyle. Regular exercises often reduce the premenstrual symptoms. Cutting back of caffeine, avoiding alcohol, stopping smoking may ease the symptoms too. Getting enough sleep and using relaxation techniques as such as mindfulness, meditation, yoga also may help. Avoid stressful or emotional triggers such as arguments over financial issues or relationship problems whenever possible. If you have symptoms of premenstrual dysphoric disorder, talk with your doctor about testing and treatment options. Uh, so, uh, I think this might be helpful. Before um, ending today, today's discussion, uh, I'd like to mention few terminology like re related to the menstruation or puberty there is a three uh, things you should know i believe one is adrenarchy menarchy and puberty what are those so like adrenarchy means the awakening of the adrenal gland the adrenal gland is responsible for making hormones including androgens sex hormones that causes cause changes such as development of the pubic hair oily skin oily hair and body order what is the what are these adrenal gland adrenal gland you know that uh, we have two kidneys just uh, top of the kidney there is a small gland uh, called adrenal gland that secretes a lot of many hormones including androgens that's also called sex hormones that responsible for um, adrenarchy means awakening of the adrenal gland menarchy your first menstrual period is called menarchy it usually starts sometimes between age of 11 and 14 but it can happen as early as age of the 9 or as late as 15 but there is some um, abnormality we'll talk in separate video um, what does it mean by puberty Puberty is when a child's body begins to develop and change as they become an adult. Girls develop breast and start their periods. Boys develop deeper. Boys' facial hair will start to appear. Their average is for girls to begin puberty is 11, while for boys, the average age is 12. Uh, I think uh, this might be helpful to understand about your child's some changes and um in next video i'll talk more details about uh, other problems during the menstruation or puberty especially uh, for girls like uh, that really concerning like endometriosis uh, menorrhagia dysmenorrhea that's really um, concerning you need to see doctor Till then, it's to save. God bless you.